Uh, I've been to this building many times before, actually, but I've never been here in the basement where there's an array of restaurants. And today we're here to check out Gosan, which is a temple food restaurant. And I'm pretty excited. So let's see what they have to offer. With an Eastern Zen style ambiance, this place specializes in temple food. Hence, you won't find meat or strong spices on the table here. I've never seen this before. It really stands out. It's called shinsorlo. All kinds of different ingredients on the sides and boiled from beneath. Lotus leaf and burdak japchae served with soy meat salad. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so this is the dokgalbi, the soy dokgalbi. Dokgalbi is uh, it's made with beef usually. It's kind of like the consistency of a burger, but uh, this is obviously vegetarian, so that's the highlight. That's really good. Maybe it's because I like meat, but the soy meat here is really good. Um, this sauce has got like a little bit of a sweet flavor. Highlighted really well by the potato and the bean. And mm, I could eat, I could eat 10 of these. They also recommended a type of drink that goes well with temple food. This is songju, a liquor made from pine needles or leaves. I've certainly never had anything that was alcoholic that was made with pine. Pine needles, pine nuts, pine leaves, pine cones. We don't make alcohol with that where I'm from. That's nice. I mean, the honey is where the sweetness is coming from, but... Especially in the, in the, um, yeah, in the nose. The pine comes through. Special. Um, to be able to come and have this kind of like, there's a lot of food here, but I still feel pretty light. Um, like the feeling is light when you're done eating. And the alcohol goes along with it really well. It's not something you're gonna drink all night long and get you know, get tipsy, but it's a nice kind of like refreshing uh, something to eat to have with the meal. So it's cool.